Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 22 of Healing Good Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I know that's random, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought they would continue using the intro from last week and not this one, but okay. Okay, so is Umi going to go to school? Well, yeah. And you can decorate it. Technically, it's already decorated, but you can decorate it even more if you want to. Oh, honey. So she'll be home by herself. That's awesome. Did I say Lala? Oh my god, Latte. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of another character. <laughs> His name is Lala. <laughs> Yeah, but she just wants to spend time with her. Yeah, that too. <laughs> you see Latte Latte like, um You little too close. You know, we we oh my god. Mm, mm, I know what to, to compare this relationship to because <laughs> Okay, this is so funny. Alright, this relationship right now is my mom and my dog in a nutshell because when we got Cody from my mom's co-worker, I hoarded him. I was literally like, no, I want to spend time with him, yada, yada. I was the one, I'm still the one who takes care of him. Cody looks at my mom and he's just like, no, like I like you, but I don't like you like you. Not, not as much as he likes me, because anywhere I go, he will follow me. He'll sometimes follow my mom, but not as much as he follows me. Uh, if I go take a shower or whatever, maybe that's when he'll go hang out with my mom. Or if I go take the trash out or whatever during the day, and I can't take him out with me because he's going to go everywhere. And I'm just like, no, nah, come on, bro. We go into the trash can, and then we come right back home. But yeah, their relationships like that. <laughs> it's getting better though. They just need to spend more time together. I, I, I'll say this: the subtle change in this opening, it is subtle, but I thought it would be like a lot more. But that's okay. I ain't mad at it. Oh, the crystal. I do. Yep, he's right. But you would think I said we would go to school with the rest of them, right? I mean, 
That's weird, though. Exactly! Yeah, but we still have that right to worry, you know? Yeah, how is this gonna go? That's a little too much, I mean... But Omi... Both y'all ate up. Yeah, no wonder y'all are hard. Shoot. Uh, wait, that's too many blankets, Omi! Oh, God. Um, okay. You look up overprotective mom in the dictionary, bing. <laughs> oh my god, Umi! No! Mm hmm No, 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 Chiyu, you had the right to say that. I like the fact that you said that. Hmm? Umi? Damn. You talk to her even though she can't talk back to you right now unless she use you know the thingamajiggy and stuff. The stethoscope. Oh yeah, no my shit. <laughs> but um just talk to her. Nope, not like that. Oh my lord, this girl about to have a choking hazard with the rapper. You must be really hungry. Oh, she's showing off again. Thank goodness. Feels good, huh?
God, you know, in a way, she kind of reminds me of um, Aisha Layla from Waste Club. And, and how she currently feels right now. She's just currently upset. Not depressed like how Aisha was in, like, maybe the first half of her season introduction of Wings Club, but just, yeah. Guys, this is a Chi Yu episode. Please, be happy. Like, oh my god. When was the last time Chi Yu got a focus episode on her? Oh my god. I don't remember she got it all worked out ahead of me. See, you would think with her character, she would be the type to fall in love with any typical guy, good looking guy. Like um my best girl Me Night from Sailor Moon S. <laughs> And she's determined to get over it, no matter how hard or high that bar is. Mm -hmm. But you keep going, no matter what. See, that's why I feel like Chi is going to be different. Because, you know, typically with most, not all, but most um, blue cures, they typically go into medicine, being a doctor, um, possibly a veterinarian, um, something in science, whatever. And I think Chi, what her career... No, it's up! Mm -hmm. Chi is going to be an athlete. She's going to be going to the Olympics by the end of this series. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. But what about Umi? I mean, you, you can't do this without Umi. Uh. You stay here. But see, this has to be during all of this. She's going to apologize to Latte and just to try to have a better relationship with her and to be like, okay, I'm not going to be that type of whether. And everyone's typically like that with their first kid, from what I've seen in TV shows. And whether that's um, scripted TV shows, reality TV shows, people IRL. And some people do that with their pets. I kind of do that with Cody. I am very like, no, I don't want him to do this. No, I don't want him to do that and stuff. But he's okay with it in, in the end. But 
she kind of has to balance herself between not being between between bleh, between being protective and then overprotective. You need to come like in the middle between it. And so, hopefully, by the end of this episode, it's all you know, love. Yeah, so now you're really gonna need Umi. You go. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, like the person who she loves. <laughs> oh, me 
Don't you go on me? I know. Oh, are there is their relationship going to be similar to freaking I one and uni? <laughs> oh god, if that is <laughs> I will say this, like, the things that, um, Umi, Yuni, and, um, Lala, no, not Lala, I did it again, Lulu, Amiru, Amiru, Lulu, Lulu, Lala, mm -hmm. Lala, Lala, Amiru, Lala, it's Lulu or Lala, goddammit, it's one of the two, mm -hmm. Lulu, it's Lulu, mm -hmm. They're very similar instead of the lessons that they had to learn because when they're the newest carries and they know a lot of freaking knowledge, but they don't know a lot of things about like human feelings. Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? That way? This is this, this, that, and the third and stuff. I mean, I love the fact that we get episodes on that too. I love how this was both a freaking Chiyu and Omi episode because number one, Chiyu needed some development. When was the last time Chiyu got her development episode? 15? When the show officially came back? Uh, and it was starting to stream on Crunchyroll? Was that officially when she got her episode? I think like that. No, 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 no. It had to be before that. It, it really did because that episode that came back was a Hinata episode. So like, yeah. Let's think about that real quick. When was the last time Chiyu got the most development in a freaking episode? Because honestly, I can't remember. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> like, Latte is cute. Um, my dog is cute. I am cute. You are cute. Everyone is cute. But there are guys who don't like to be called cute. Guys like to be called handsome. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, it seems like we're this... Okay, it seems like next week is going to be another um, Umi episode focus space. I'm fine with it because... Since she is the newest, and it's typically like that with every single freaking Precure series... Um, they'll do maybe a couple more episodes with the focus, and then they'll draw it out where, okay, here's a focus episode on this character, here's a focus episode on that, but I do love the fact that this was a double S focus episode, because, like I said, Chiyu, it's been a while since Chiyu's gotten something, so I was like, oh my god, like, girl, I, like, because see, the one thing that I hate about, I love about the show, but I hate about the show is by the time we get to the end of the series, and we're looking at all how many of our girls who are in this group, and we're like, okay, out of this show, who got the most development? Pink and whoever the last care is. Who got the least amount? The, first, the other two, who we didn't stay. Like, to me, in my opinion, like, Kitty Kitty Pretty Hero La Mode, um, 
Go Princess Pretty Cure, Smile Pretty Cure, um, maybe even Heart Catch. I would have to rewatch Heart Catch, just remember. But because it's been such a long freaking time since I've watched Heart Catch, I, <laughs> I can't give you an answer. I feel like those were the shows that gave everybody development, whether it was just one episode focusing on one girl or um, it was an episode focusing on two, three, four. Pretty, I mean, uh, Kitty Kitty Pretty Cure Hollow Mode had what, five girls? No, six girls? Six girls, and they were able to give every single one of them the development that they needed, and, you know, like our headcanon, as we said, Akira and Yukari, mom and dad, they did get married at the end, and Homade, their child from Hagato Pretty Care, that is their kid, no matter what. We all know that. Everybody freaking knows that if you're, if you're a sub to me. But, I mean, it's just, with it is typically the blue and the yellow and then maybe whoever else is also winning like we can talk about star twinkle and we, we've talked about why star twinkle is my least favorite of the show but i love it strictly for my girl uni i felt like you know to me some of them girls got cheated and then one of them actually deserved to be cheated in the development because she got on my nerves and i think everybody knows who the f that is and, I, and if you don't I, I d just figure it out. That's all I'm going to say. Figure it out. I ain't going to tell you who it is, but I think it, it's kind of a little obvious because I, I really, I, I used to like her in the beginning in episode one. And then by the end of the series, I could not stand her. And I think in the last, in my last video for Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, I said I disliked her as a character and her, um, everything about her. And, and I couldn't believe what I was saying, but the one thing that I'm kind of hoping is that the other two, freaking Chiyu and Hina, they get the focus that they deserve. Chiyu got her focus today. When is Hina so going to get her next focus? Because remember, the last time Hina so got her focus was her doing the Kirara, uh, Kiranin focus. How when Kiranin and Go Princess Pretty Cure, after she came out as Cure Twinkle... Literally, she was like, nah, I quit. I don't want to do it anymore. And how Hina was very close to quitting because of the fact is the dangers of becoming a pretty girl. And honestly, I was really happy about that episode because they, I don't really remember, did Futariwa pretty girl do it? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, it would be like instantly rewatching it. Um, I don't remember if like any of the other pretty girl at shows said, oh, here, here's the dangers of this. Not only are you risking your life every single day, but you know, your family or anyone you love and care about could also get hurt. You still want to do it. But I mean, yeah, the episode was good. It seems like next week's is going to be even better because it has a puppy, another puppy in it. And it's going to be so freaking cute and I'm going to love it no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 22 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 23. Bye, guys.